Good morning, friends and family, and family of friends. Happy Friday the 5th, everyone. We've just about wrapped up our first full week of June, and with all of the craziness in the world happening around us right now, I am very happy and proud to announce a late birthday shout out from yesterday. Belinda and I are officially grandparents to another handsome little fella. Yesterday, at pretty close to 4 a.m., Lauren gave birth to 9 pound, 21 inch baby Silas. They are both doing well, and the handsome little fella is already sealing our hearts. We went from no grandkids a few years back to having three or four of those awesome little rascals running around now, and we do love them, for sure. This morning, sunrise was at 517, and sunset will be at 830, giving us 15 hours and 13 minutes of glorious daylight to enjoy. Presently, it's 66 degrees outside, give or take a little bit depending on exactly where you live. You know the routine. Today, you can expect partly to mostly cloudy skies to start the day with some scattered thunderstorms possible in the morning. Highs are expected to reach the low 80s with winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday and Sunday look to be in the upper 70s with mostly sunny skies. It just doesn't get much better than that, so we certainly hope you can get out and make the most of it. Just looks like an awesome weekend ahead of us. From our family of friends celebrating birthdays today, happy birthday to Kat Schwersky, Peter X, Christopher Haynes, Rachel Isaacson, Hetty Lynette Mayer, Paul Thernack, Mitchell Kamarowski, Nicole Gilbreth, Jack Semlin, and last but not least, Brandy Lynn Johnson. Our celebrity birthday shout-out starts with a very funny man from a TV show Belle and I just love. This comedic actor is a member of the American comedy troupe The Tenderloins. This group is best known for their TV series on True TV, accurately titled Impractical Jokers. Joe Gatto turns 44 today. Our next celebrity is a well-known and talented actor who has played starring roles in such films as Boogie Nights, <clears throat> The Fighter, Ted, Transformer, Age of Extinction, Daddy's Home, and Lone Survivor. He also served as executive producer on the hit HBO series Entourage and Boardwalk Empire. Mark Wahlberg turns 49 today. <clears throat> Moving on to this day in history, it was on today's date in 1956 that Elvis Presley introduced his new single, Hound Dog, on the Milton Berle Show, and scandalized the audience with his suggestive hip gyrations. 64 years later, and look at us now. Heck, the Super Bowl halftime show was nothing but hip gyrations, with a little bit of singing, I guess. On today's date in 1967, the Six-Day War begins when Israel launches simultaneous attacks against Egypt and Syria. Jordan also joined in the fray, but the Arab coalition was no match for Israel's proficient armed forces. In six days of fighting, Israel occupied the Gaza Strip and the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt, the Gulan Heights of Syria, and the West Bank and Arab sector of Eastern Jerusalem. By the time the United Nations ceasefire took effect on June 11th, Israel had more than doubled its size. It was on today's date in 1968 that, after winning the California presidential primary, Senator Robert F. Kennedy was assassinated at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles. This tragedy occurred only five years after his brother, our 35th president, John F. Kennedy, was assassinated. It is said that after addressing his supporters at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles, California, he was leaving the hotel through the kitchen when a man approached and begun firing. Unfortunately, he chose to ignore the advice of his bodyguard, who had advised him to avoid the kitchen. It's extra tragic because if he would have listened to the advice of the professional charged with his protection, he might still be alive. His killer, Sirhan, is still behind bars after he was refused parole back in 2016. On today's date in 1977, the Apple II goes on sale at the cost of $1,298. It was one of the first microcomputers sold fully assembled. On today's date in 1994, a new record is set for the youngest college graduate when 10-year-old Michael Kearney received his bachelor degree in anthropology from the University of South Alabama. Here's another story about another highly motivated preteen that also took place on today's date in 1994 when 12-year-old Vicki Van Meter takes off from Maine following Amelia Earhart's historic route. She arrived in Scotland two days later. And lastly, on today's date in 2007, NASA Messenger spacecraft performs a second flyby of Venus. 
providing some additional close-up images and scientific data of this distant neighbor in our solar system. You know, I can't help but be constantly amazed at how far we've come and how far we've gone. And with SpaceX, Boeing, and a bunch of other big fish competing with each other in the new space race, the innovation and pace of advancement is really going to take off. It's exciting indeed. All right, on to our comedy corner. You can distinguish an alligator from a crocodile by paying attention to whether the animal sees you later or in a while. Today is National Gingerbread Day, National Moonshine Day, National Veggie Burger Day, and National Donut Donut Day. We looked into this one a little deeper, and sure enough, there was an interesting backstory. Each year on the first Friday in June, people participate in National Donut or Donut Day, celebrating the donut and honoring the Salvation Army Lassies. The Salvation Army Lassies are the women who served donuts to soldiers during World War I. In 1917, the original Salvation Army donut was first served by the Lassies of the Salvation Army. It was during World War I that the Salvation Army Lassies went to the front lines of Europe. Home-cooked foods provided by these brave volunteers were a morale boost to troops like, but like few other things. The donuts were often cooked in oil inside the metal helmets of the American soldiers. American infantrymen were then commonly called doughboys. A more standard spelling of the word doughnut, pretty cool, eh? But you know, now you know the rest of the story. Today's morning motivational is a simple, undeniable truth. Things work out best for those who make the best of how things work out. You know, like we said yesterday, yesterday's morning motivational sounds a little bit like another Dr. Seuss tongue twister, but it is spot on accurate because more, more times than not, major events and small inconveniences alike are out of our control. But how we react to them is always in our control. Our suggestion will always be to make lemonade from the, the lemons that life hands you. You do have the power, my friends. You do. Well, we've had amazing weather this week, and we have a truly awesome weekend ahead of us. So our suggestion, turn off the news. They're just selling you fear and hate anyways. Stay out of the big cities. They have collectively lost their minds. Be kind to each other. Love each other, and get out and enjoy life. Go boating fishing check out uh check out one of our awesome state parks take a bike ride with that someone special or just kick back and fire up your grill take this weekend by the horns and have your way with it you do have the power to make it an awesome weekend and we certainly hope you do blind and i do appreciate the time that you spend with us each and every day our goal is to offer a mix of entertainment and education in each and every one of our morning minute posts after all, knowledge is power, and you know we do love to share what we come across. We hope you are enjoying the experience. You know, and send us a message. We take any suggestions, uh, definitely. Please continue to like, follow, and share us with your friends and family on Facebook. And please remember, Blind and I are creative, high-energy real estate agents. We certainly would love the opportunity to help you or anyone that you know who might be considering buying or selling property in the near future. We are well set up for today's coronavirus world um, to help you out so reach out to us um, thanks again for your time have a great day have an awesome weekend make it an awesome weekend don't forget you have the power and we'll talk soon yeah.